the final address written by INEC revealed that those EC8A result that Labour Party tendered as evidence, that 10,000 of them were actually result sheets where the real scores were written, held by Labour Party's pooling unit agents. We used to think that all the EC8A bundles of ETHA submitted there, that all of them were just the one that INEC certified. But this 10,000 unit that Labour Party submitted there were results that the pulling unit agents had, which was handed over to Labour Party, and which Labour Party tendered as evidence, and almost all of them were those pulling units that INEC certified blank result for. Now, that's what is called the probate value of an evidence, meaning the way court ranks the evidence. In this particular situation, the INEC copy is the highest ranked one because they are adjudged by law as a neutral umpire, objective umpire, even though we knew, we now know that they took position as a political party. The second one will be the police copy. You remember that in the case of Hope Uzodema versus um, what's the um, the guy that contested for governorship in Imo State under the PDP? Um, forgotten him. Okay, PDP versus APC in Imo State. Hope Uzodema versus I've forgotten his name. INEC came there. INEC could not produce the results they used to announce the election. Um, Hope Uzodema went. Being APC man, he was able to conjure some result, call it police copy, and police endorsed it, saying it is their copy, though. Police said it's their copy. Whereas oh, the PDP guy, I've forgotten his name, tendered his pooling unit agent's copy. The court did not. That's he had the other. He yes, he had the other. Thank you, he had the So the court did not recognize. And INEC, having compromised themselves to return Hopus Odimma, did not stand and say the result that Hopus Odimma has is the real result. Because if you say it's the real result, show us your own to back it up. So INEC did not start to say we don't have result. Now, and Hopus Odimma did not go to push them to give a certified true copy. I'm sorry, the Ihedioha did not because INEC hadn't it. Now, the police copy that we don't know how Hopus Odima manufactured. You know the guys, you know, he knows how he knows how to manufacture even hundreds of thousands of um, registered voters from his own ward, not even his local government, from his ward and village. So the, the Supreme Court looked at it and said, okay, INEC, you don't have your result. In the probate value, we're gonna respect that of police before um uh, uh, Ihedioha. Discarded that of the and use that one that police gave and use it to recalculate the result and say that Hopus Adema is the winner. It was a technical arrangement between Hope, INEC, and police. So, what INEC did was say, We don't have a result. Don't worry. Go and collect from police. Anything police gives you, let them put their stamp. And one DPO can just stay there and stamp it. And that was it. So what Labour Party did here, which was a smart thing, was to first of all extract from INEC their own certified true copy. And INEC sheepishly gave them certified true copy of blank results. And then Labour Party matched it with available results. So what it means now is all oh, their lordship. If you want to take our result, then of course you're returning us as the winner. If you don't want to take our result, and INEC has given you blank 18,088 results, which the difference between the declared winner and the runners up is less than this 18,088. You know, they mentioned it is 2.5 million something. With, with, you remember it is in their, in their listing. We mentioned it last, last, last time. So the choice before the, the judges is a devil's alternative to INEC. That is the summary. The choice before the judges is a devil's alternative to INEC. 
whichever part the judges takes, Labour Party is the winner. They may win by P2B being returned, or they may win by the election being, being, being annulled. Which both of them are in the prayers of Labour Party. If you don't think that this little little ones were able to gather out of this mess is good enough to declare us winner. Kukuma cancel everything. And let's go back to the to the field. And so INEC is losing breath and they don't know what to do. That is what happens. So the next thing that will be happening is the adoption when the court will now collect these documents from them and give dates on when they will give judgment or say we will call you people and tell you when we will give judgment there won't be any meeting again there won't be any sitting again after i think it's going to be tomorrow or day after tomorrow i don't know if it is tomorrow or day after tomorrow that that will happen what is called the final adoption so i don't know if you have another question so the adoption is just to like admit those reports right yes the, the adoption is the formality of the the, the courts at making it official that those reports has now been accepted there were some times when they might still be given opportunity to do some final some some other speeches which sometimes when they want to talk the judges will say you already have it in your report we don't want to hear that again sometimes the judge can indulge you to just go and ramble because at the end of it all there is nothing you say again that is greater than what you have already said in your final report wow so for the benefit of those who are joining us now we are just deliberating on some of the results from the labor party agents about ten thousand copies of those results that can't be traced to the IREV. We can't find them on the IREV. The 18,000 plus of result sheets that were told that they are blank or they, they are blurred. You know, out of those ones, Labour Party has about 10,000 results, you know, legitimate results that INEC cannot provide their own copies. So that is what we are talking about at this moment. Doctor, please, you mentioned Hope Uzodema because somehow his case is a bit similar to what we are deliberating on. Can you please just tell us the difference? Because you were saying he brought his own result. Possibly he got them from uh, the police, you know? They were equally signed by the police. But INEC told the court that we don't have copies of this result. They were like trying to like, you know, uh, avoid any involvement they were like they don't have any copy but how were the judges able to rule in favor of opus or dema when Aine couldn't even defend the yeah. results that he provided to them i believe it was a technical conniver conniver between INEC and opus or dema so what INEC did was to back off say they can't find their own results mm -hmm. all right and then but then irev had not started working it wasn't a matter of IRA of then. So the Electoral Act 2022 hadn't come into effect. That was why IRF is a weapon of mass destruction to a corrupt, a corrupt leaders like INEC leaders, INEC managers, not INEC as, a, as an institution, but the people who are running it, they are corrupt. And IRF shot them in the leg. Now, then there was no IREF. INEC could not produce results. Hope Uzodema, who is being challenged because INEC had declared him win, and it was obvious. It was obvious. I'm sorry, did I say Hope Uzodema? No, Ihe Dioha. Ihe Dioha, who is being challenged by Hope Uzodema, was already a sitting governor. We know that Hope Uzodema came forth or third. So every other person went home. Hope Uzodema said no. I won the election and people were like, what magic is he going to do? INEC couldn't produce their result. And the improbate value, meaning the way the court ranked the value of evidence, is that INEC is the most ranked. After INEC, another public institution like police before the agents copy. But there was no IREF then. So, Hope Uzodema um, went and got what he called police copy. I say what he called. Yes, because of course, I'm sorry to say that, but you people know our police, how much wonderfully credible they can be relied on. What we know is that 
result of ECHAs came from the police. And Ihedeoha produced his own agent's copy, which was a replica of what INEC declared. But now INEC said they don't have their own. And now when the court looked at it, there was a disparity between what Hope Uzodema presented and what Ihedeoha presented. And because in ranking, the police copy is highly ranked more than agent's copy, the court took that of Hope Uzodema and use it to give judgment in favor of Hope Uzodima. And that was why from nowhere, Ihedeha woke up and he's no longer a governor. But that thing can't happen now because of Electoral Act 2020, 2022. Because there is now an existence of IREF. And if INEC say they don't have a result, and you can see it on IREF, they have a result. Because it is only INEC that can upload something to the IREF. That's where INEC saw themselves in the leg. They thought they could collect one billion dollars from Nigeria and not and not have a way to give account to it. They may have messed up the election, but they left a trail because of IREV. So now that INEC have been able to certify their own blank result, which is on IREV. Labour Party now matched it with their original, with their own copy which is not blank.